Hi guys, how are you? Welcome to this video. Welcome to my channel. My name is Laura, founder at Pleading Healer, PleadingHealer.com. And today we're going to finally do a long anticipated review. It's going to be a review of the entire archaics material. I kind of always want to insert BS, garbage, junk material, but we're just going to stick with the word material for now. I think you'll see how high quality or rather low quality it is after this review. And uh, I already had a bit of a review on him. So this is back a little while ago, reviewing Archaics, also known as Jason or Brashear's 30 years in prison for this which is kind of insinuating the entire thing where he was locked away in prison for, you know, aggravated sexual assault, which for people who don't know yet, uh, or who haven't gotten the memo, aggravated sexual assault is the difference between that aggravated is gets, is that's the one that gets you in prison for longer. If it had just been a sexual assault, it may have not gotten him in prison for that long, but the entire thing with aggravated standing in front of it, that's exactly uh, what gets people in there for much longer. Anyhow, it's garnered a bit of attention here. So if you haven't seen it yet, definitely watch it either before or after this video. And it's definitely triggered him and a lot of other people, like a lot of his little lemming followers or whatever, definitely gotten a bit of heat because of it. Not that it really matters, obviously. I mean, you put this material out there to enlighten people, right? And a lot of people didn't know about his history. So it's very important to point that out. But it triggered him to such an extent where I even participated in one of his live streams. So let's just go to the live stream here. And it was called The War Against Archaics. Why do the people rage or the heathen, heathens, whatever? Why do they rage? And so I was actually participating in this live stream and I was calling him out on his logo, what exactly he's putting inside his logo. And he ended up blocking me. This is how high and mighty these people are. So in addition to actually criticizing and questioning him on a legit, you know, basis, he couldn't answer. All he does is blocks people. He does it with other people too. Tartarian Truce is another channel he's blocked and everything. So it's a, it's a fun channel. If you want to check out some comedy, check out that channel. It has a lot of good stuff on archaics and also other people. So every time you check out his garbage material, for the lack of a better word, it seems like more and more followers have found his channel somehow. And I know the latest back in November, Nino Rodriguez did something on him. I think he had like two interviews or whatever with him. Nino is high on the list to be reviewed too. And also Santos Bonacci or Bonacci, I can't even pronounce these people's names because they don't really matter. That's the person who had other accusations against him, by the way. He also did something with them. So as already pointed out in my first video, he only interviews men mostly, never women. I really wonder if that has to do with being a, you know, a sex offender, a registered sex offender. Here's another actually pretty good comment that I read somewhere. So this, you know, we'll get into the review shortly, but 30 years in prison for aggravated sexual assault with a deadly weapon has to register annually as a sex offender, mentioning in his videos how he stopped his friend from assaulting the girl, but the friend was not charged with the assault attempt at all. And Jason was, that's another good thing. Yeah. Like what is that? What exactly is going on with that story? It's either completely fake or there's some missing info. He is the rape and then ist liar and a dangerous criminal saying in a recent video, how he's going with his friend to the shooting right shooting range, but he's not allowed to own firearms. So he will shoot with the crossbow. None of that makes sense. Even in Texas, none of that makes sense. Uneducated has only elementary school, liar, manipulator, very likely promoted by the authorities to share the false information and delusions. If anyone comments something negative about him on his YouTube or Facebook channel, he blocks and bans him immediately. Yeah. So that's pretty much my impression too. You know, he definitely blocked me and others. The moment you start questioning him on a legit, in a legit way, that's what he does. That's what these people do. They can't stand criticism, right? They go high crying out to their mothers or whatever. 
So this is one thing, and this is already how you know there's something wrong with him aside from his sex offender history, which you do have to point it out over and over again, because a lot of people seem to not take that serious, you know, like if it really is true, yeah, <laughs> you have to know about this. But I went through his community tab. So by the time I'm going to air this review, it's already going to be a little bit from now. So I'm re pre-recording it here. But his community tab said something that basically tells you everything. Okay, so this is from Arc AIX. So Arc is like the the Arc Realm, where all the demonic entities are, the archangels, the demons, basically. And AI is AI, so it's like basically like a soulless being type of. And X, as I already pointed out in many videos, the X has to do with deception, not showing who you really are, and also putting something like a barrier in front of the true information. And that's basically what this person does, honestly. So. Another, I'm going to just going to quote it here. Another often asked question concerns soul trap theory. So he's basically saying the soul trap theory doesn't exist, which is mind blowing because this is exactly what Dolores Cannon said, who's a new ager. This is, this is where you really see the overlap between new age and truther community and how these planted people are really messing with people's head and they're trying to recycle these people over and over again into every single lifetime. So he's basically saying, I'm not on board. That's my take. Wow, mind blowing. <laughs> if, you, if you could just imitate his voice, the way he says it, it would even sound dumber than it actually reads. Hate to be the iconoclast, whatever that even means. It's a made up word like everything else he makes up. But to me, this is pure fear-based programming. Doesn't this remind you of something? Doesn't this remind you of Marina Jacoby, who also was using the word fear the entire time instead of just spreading love, you know, just saying. NGB Solo, a longtime Archaics participant, asked about the soul trap this morning. I'm aware a lot of people believe in it, but I don't think one's belief or non-belief in this scenario changes anything that happens after the soul. He calls it personality essence. How cute. <laughs> this person has never dealt with any soul. You can already tell. Is separated from the avatar. So the body's the avatar. This is so mind-blowing to me because there's something so precious about our bodies that it is not just your avatar or a meat suit. There is something so important about your bodies that you recycle your DNA from lifetime to lifetime. Okay, more about it in a different video. I don't want archaics plagiarizing my own material, which he likes to do, obviously. For those interested, this was my response. We're actually not that interested in your reply. The only reason I'm, I'm actually quoting this is to show you how he has controlled opposition. All the researchers in the world can preach soul trap and I won't get on board. In thousands of years of history and religions, the whole concept only recently within 30 years popped up, but that's not why I refuse to entertain it. Well, you don't really know when it popped up archaics okay so you're just putting a random number out there maybe when you were in prison and reading through all those dubiously strangely hard to accumulate books maybe you should have read some books on this maybe you should have found something from thousands of years ago where the egyptians already were talking about it but no this person this is how you know the entire story is made up this person takes whatever resonates with them and throws the rest out, right? So what type of person are you really following for people who, are, who really are following him? I know not a lot of people on my, my channel aren't following him. The evidence that moves people are testimonies from NDEs. These are near-death experiences. None of these people who tell these stories actually died, not one. Their souls, which is basically... <laughs> Their souls wandered from an avatar they still maintained a connection to, or they would have moved on. Well, that's not really true. You know, we have certain exit points in our lives. And if people really wanted to move on, they can. If they don't, they decide to come back. That's basically what the NDE is, right? That fact alone has me understanding that not one person has come back from the dead to tell us anything. They merely entered that same gossamer state of travel and imagination and REM or deep sleep. So he's basically diminishing every single one who uh, you know saw Jesus or went to heaven, which is good because a lot of those are just entities in the astral messing with these people, right? Because none of these people actually died, then they were still subject to the collective frames of reference of the guiding collecting program. So this is how he wants to try to, to sound smarter. When you actually listen to how he sounds, though, 
it actually makes me wonder if someone else is writing this because he's really not that smart, it appears. They were still subject to the filters of the central nervous system. Oh, wow. So now Jason from Archaics is some sort of physician who knows all about the central nervous system because he's mentioning it, mentioning it here. The more people hear the NDE experiences, the more people will have them and there will be they, they, they will develop, okay, I think you want to say they will develop correlates. It's not your time. You have to go back. It's not evidence of death. The soul trap concept is fear-based programming to me. So we still don't know why it's fear-based, okay? But just the facts, yeah, hold on. I've got to pull this down. Something happened here. This is interesting that this kind of block thing came up, um, which probably means there's blockages all around this person. This is, you know, this is how you know. When you get signs like this, controlled up, that's basically what screams like to me. Living out life simps is a simple concept that we are volunteers. Wow. And so, so he's entertaining the volunteer program that Dolores Cannon is volunteering. Everyone has to go now to my channel, either after this video or stop it and watch the video how we were tricked to come here. It will make a whole lot of sense why you are not a volunteer. Okay, we are volunteers until a specific time is simple concept. That there is a caring oversoul is a simple concept. That there is a grand deceit stage that after your soul departs your body and you have to make the right choice or you suffer consequences introduces a plethora of complexities and doubt about our immortalhood, our place in the creation and our oversoul, which is exactly what it is designed to do. So oversoul doesn't exist, okay? All, like all these concepts don't really, they're like false white light. So I'm not really sure if he's trying to say they're concepts, they don't matter, or if he actually believes in the oversoul. It appears he believes in creation and the oversoul. So I don't know if this guy is religious or not. If he is religious, it would explain why all of this is mumble jumble because he's dragged in the religious trap, obviously. But the oversoul doesn't exist, okay? It's just another entity around you that they want you to connect to so that you're more disconnected from your own essence. Um, so the entire soul trap thing, mind-blowing. So he's basically just kind of reinforcing people, oh, no, your NDEs are not valid, okay? Which, for the most part, it is correct that there are random entities around these people trying to drag them down this false white light tunnel or trying to pretend they're Jesus, which is not true, or they're a deceased relative. All of that is correct, but it doesn't invalidize these NDEs. It doesn't mean they weren't clinically dead. You know, a lot of these people actually have, well, for what you hear, you know, they have had a doctor tell them you were clinically dead and then you came back. So he doesn't know what he's talking about, basically. You know, it's not just being in sleep or REM. No, completely disagree with that. Um, I can't believe we're already like 13 minutes in. Just dissecting through what type of stuff he's typing up here or whoever's typing that up for him. There are a few errors in it. So it could really be him because he just really doesn't seem that educated. But, you know, all of this aside, you don't have to be super duper educated, obviously, to have a YouTube channel because you can have all these other lemmings around you who are setting up a microphone and all of that for you. So it screams controlled op, honestly. It just screams fraud. It screams he doesn't know what he's talking about. We still don't know why, why this is a wrong concept, okay? We still don't know anything. So he's basically telling you, oh, yeah, just go down that tunnel of light. And then, yeah, just, just become recycled back into this lifetime because we need souls like you. We need you so that entities can feast off of you so that you can build up this AI world that he's obviously going to be a part of, you know, with the fake Phoenix rising concept or Phoenix weapon, whatever he promotes on this channel. So for me, this is clear. This is the same mentality your girl's can has. It says you're a volunteer. You need to go through that false white light tunnel to come back. This is the same he's saying. He's just expressing it in, in truther terms. And that's how you know the truther and the new age community are one and the same, one and the same. And this is exactly where you see it. So back to his videos, I do want to point something out and it really irks me when I see it. Uh, here's one Matt's first archaics promo. We're not going to play it, but when I kind of just click on it, it says we have been deceived and the word deceived, D-E-C, I E V E D. So that's a typo. It should be E I. <laughs> and English speakers always like to do that typo. You know, the German speaker would never make a typo like that ever. 
because we actually have E-I and E-I-E and we actually pronounce it in different ways. So I hate it when I see a typo like that on a channel that's supposedly so big and high and mighty. I hate when there's a typo and I really hate it because I'm not a native English speaker. And when I see that on a native English speaker's channel, it drives me crazy. Honestly, it's just so unprofessional. Anyhow, so back to his garbage material, for lack of a better word. Um, I tried to find something because I have something in the car, which I think will play. And, you know, he kind of took his logo out a bit. So we're going to play this a little bit. So you see this entire tunnel. Okay, so this tunnel right here. I can barely look at this tunnel because I already feel it's dragging pieces of my soul into this tunnel. So this is kind of, you know, I, I can't watch it. I have to like look away, but basically this tunnel already tells you everything you have to know. Like he had a logo where there were certain, there was like a hidden face in it. Maybe he took it down after he criticized it a few months ago because he didn't want to be called out on that. But even this one, you see random faces in it. You see where my mouse cursor is right there. I see like this vicious face right there, this demonic face that's coming out. So there's something very fishy going on with this entire logo and branding and he can't explain it. And no one who's following him can explain it. And then he has all this stuff, which I don't want to play because you don't know if there's like a copyright or something on it. We're going to go ahead and literally, um, let me turn on the volume a bit. Okay, we're, we're gonna go ahead and actually play his car video. Okay, so I don't know if he has, okay. Let's just play it from the start. And uh, I don't think it has to be full. I don't wanna see this guy in full screen. Like this is the first person I don't wanna see in full screen. Okay, let's see what he has to say. Keep this video short too. I don't want this to be a long presentation. Okay, so this is like a 17 minute long video. If he's really driving and recording, that's very dangerous. Like he should actually be stopped by the cops because he could have an accident or whatever. This is like texting and driving. It's the same thing. He's not entirely focused on the road. Okay. So very dangerous. I hope someone pulls him over for that because if he does this all the time, he could have a, an accident and kill people with it. Okay. This too is a challenge. There are two reasons why people ask that question. One of them is general curiosity. And they want to know, hey man, how, how is it that you were able to figure all this out? How do you know the source materials are accurate? I, I mean, how do you know? So that's just, hey, I appreciate those, that, that type of curiosity. That's how we learn. There's another group of people who ask it for the wrong reason. But I'm still going to answer it. The wrong reason is, is these guys are triggered by the fact that so much information. So he's just trying to make it seem, I don't know if you can pick up on that. I'm holding the microphone like right here. He's not using a good microphone. And also in a lot of his presentations, like he had like a live stream right here. I have to say, everyone has to get the same microphone Marina Jacoby has, because that was the best microphone I've ever reviewed. Like even that microphone that he has right here, let's just play outside, it. Outside, people on the outside. Is man. not as strong as the one from Marina Jacoby. Anyhow, it's a bit hard to understand him in his car. And I also hate when people wear sunglasses in their videos, because I always feel they have something to hide. Now he's driving and recording, which is illegal. Anyhow, you know, he should be called out on that regardless. Cause like, this is just not focusing your, your undivided attention on the road, but so maybe he's being blinded by the light in Texas. Who knows? It looks like a pretty gray day. Anyhow, um, he's, he makes it seem like he always gets all these emails and texts and whatnot. But at the end of the day, I don't really care. I don't, I don't have to hear about him bragging. So it's kind of like bragging, right? You can be had and history can be put together, it's easier than to just go read hundreds of books. It's easier to say, oh, history's fake. But I have challenged people who want to, who want to claim that all these history books have been fabricated. I don't believe that's the case. I believe that there's always interpolations. There's always lacunas that are filled. He's not really giving us anything. Like similar to Marina Jacoby and all these other people, they're not giving us anything. They're just blobbing off. 
Maybe we can pull it forward to the second or third minute. Maybe it's a bit more interesting. That's just the it looks like he has like a bunch of junk in his back over there too. It doesn't look very attractive in a video. Like I met in the back of his car trunk. That's the first data point. The second data mm. point. The Inca believed in a 2070 year period. What? That is way too He's now like quoting the ink, like all of these civilizations that were very rudimentary, kind of like the Neanderthals. So, okay, amazing. Specific. Why add 70 years to 2000? 2000, 2000 is a nice round number. But then you, that's the second data point. Third data point. Here's Marcus and Samos. Alexandrian Library, very hard, red red read historical books and historical monuments from hundreds. But I mean, basically, he's just claiming. I think I have to hold the microphone different. I'm sorry, you guys. Like the the quality is so bad that it's hard to actually have his voice and my voice. But basically, the struggle's real, right? And this is how you know, like, there's something fishy with this person. It shouldn't be this hard to, uh, you know, record something. Anyhow. Um, He's kind of just taking all these people that how do we know they really existed, right? They could be just sagas or myths or whatever. There's there's no evidence whatsoever they existed. And if they did, like, why are you using them as examples? Like your entire catch line is, oh, question everything. Everything might be fake. And now he's kind of just putting this garbage out there. It makes no sense. It's maybe even thousands of years before his time. And he did this 23 centuries ago. Aristarchus and Samos was convinced. Yeah, but how do you know? Were you around? Like, if you're having the same mentality as the NDE and the soul trap doesn't exist mentality, how do you know? Were you around? Or are you just reading random books that were written by other people? You know, just like the Bible written by another person. And he published that every 2,484 years. He kind of has, you know, I hate to look at his mouth, but his teeth, you can kind of see those corner teeth kind of look like vampire teeth. He might be like a vampire or like Jason K, like an energy sucker. Our world is destroyed. 24, 84 years is very specific. Okay, so we, I still, got, honestly, I've gotten nothing out of this video. <laughs> different languages, different continents, highly specific numbers. That's our third data. Maybe, maybe, oh, look what he's doing. He's doing like, isn't that an Illuminati symbol? What he's doing right there? Wow, you guys saw it first, Illuminati in the house. Years ago, Moses Maimonides, also called by his pseudonym Rashi, that the world is destroyed. That in the period of 1656 years, the world is destroyed twice. Well, that's interesting because 1,656 years is highly specific. It makes you wonder if he can come up with his own concepts instead of always regurgitating. It seems like every video is always about the same stuff. And look at his facial expression right there. It's almost like he's disgusted by his own content, right? Oh. It's like all you have to do, honestly, to read a person's energy, all you do is slow mo their video, and you'll see so much hidden body language, face, facial expressions, and gestures, it'll be mind-blowing. Those of you who know your Bibles also know that's the length of the pre-flood world. So Rashi was half correct, right? At the end of the 1656 year period, which in Genesis, the whole pre-flood world is 1,656 years. We have a world destruction called the Great Deluge, collapsed the vapor camp, the day the sky fell. I've gotten, I'm getting nothing out of this video. Rashi said the beginning of that period was a destruction as well. The people are like, oh, review his stuff. It's boring. I'm not going to lie. It is so boring. Maybe we can go to this live stream here, but I think the live streams are even more boring because all he does is read the comment. He never really replies to it. And the guy who's sitting next to him looks so bored. Like even he's bored by Jason's stuff. Ian interpreted this as the mysteries. These are the mysteries. This is why they talk talking code. This is why they, they wear the curl they do. They had these curl. Okay. So I think that his thing is he kind of never gives any information. He only kind of talks around the information. In Germany, there's this phrase called um den heißen drei herumreden, 
which basically translates to he's just talking about, you know, Brei is similar to like cereal or whatever. He's talking about the hot breakfast cereal, meaning he never actually dives fully in. And I feel that's every time I watch stuff like this, that's what it reminds me of. They never give you anything of substance, really. But there's a little bit of truth in there. And that's what hooks people in. And the way he obviously wrote his one, like even this entire soul trap paragraph, I got nothing out of this. I'm like, okay, we still don't know why the soul trap theory is wrong. There's nothing in there that mentions anything. And that's kind of how, how he is, honestly. Warriors could walk down a road unmolested because people actually feared the consequences of ever messing with any of these precinct couriers. And it's funny that he just said the word unmolested because isn't he a registered sex offender? If anybody touched him, they knew what the penalty was. So these people- Penalty. Interesting. Didn't he have like a 30 year penalty? These people had dispatches going all over the ancient world. But people just, they didn't understand. They didn't, the common people- <laughs> This is what every other new ager and truther says. They never understand. We are so high and mighty. We are the only ones who understand. We are the only four, and f four to five people in the entire world who understand this content. Everyone else is a little dum-dum. And now we're here trying to give you that material, but you're all just little dum-dums or people who will never understand. That's basically the entire energy that I'm reading here. We're hoodwinked into believing that something supernatural. And that guy, I don't know who that guy is next to him. He just looks even dumber, doesn't he? Like, kind of like, yeah, I'm dumb, dumb. <laughs> I'm dumb, dumb. You're the tyrant. What's happening? Because the Greeks got. And then that weird organet pyramid in between them. It's almost like he has to pre protect himself from our cakes or something. <laughs> Because Organite protects from like bad psychic attacks too, right? I remember they invented theatrics, the whole amphitheater, all the stage plays, every, all these great, uh, have you guys ever read like uh, 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 The Bird? There you go. He doesn't know what he's talking about. You know, you do wonder if he spent 30 years in prison because if he actually traveled to these places and if he actually saw them, he would be a bit more enthusiastic about talking about them. So I don't think his person has ever seen anything outside of Texas, to be honest with you. And no offense, you know, you don't have to be traveling to 100 plus countries, but don't talk about these things unless you actually know what you're talking about. Man, I just said his name the other day. Having a brain force today. Crickets. <laughs> we need one of those Tartarian truth things that he puts in one of those little so, i can't remember anyway the, uh, there's so many <laughs> awesome great so yeah just change the subject because you you lost the thread of thought you didn't know what you were talking about to begin with and it's boring i'm not gonna like we're already what 30 minutes in i've gotten nothing out of his teachings i'm gonna be honest there's nothing of substance in his teachings oh uh, oh uh... True. And this is already very hard to know with the sexual offender background, even having to review this sham, okay? They call them tragedies, but not all of them are tra tragic. But th there's so many great, great Greek stage plays and stories. And this is what they did. This was their entertainment back then. And the oracle was the same way, but it was passed off. As I wonder if that symbology on his wrist means, is that like a whole bunch of eternity signs or eights or something? I wonder if that's like more Illuminati symbology on his sleeves. Real. Just speaking out, out loud. They, they, it was one oracle would be, they would inhale gases. Wow. One oracle, one oracle that would be doing other types of divination. Sometimes it was some type of spiritual possession. Other times it was the goddess. They were channeling the goddess. It doesn't matter the packaging. The only thing that mattered was that the person that asked that question had to wait four, five, six, seven days, whatever. And next thing you know, five days, five days after presenting this, the, the talent of silver and three goats. Five days later, a priest would come out, look for him in the camps or surrounding the oracle. This makes no sense. <laughs> I mean, okay, great. Talking about oracle. Is anyone interested in, in the oracle story? I'm not really interested in it. Oracle? Hey. Oh. Why don't you just give us something that we can actually 
that enlightens us instead of all these stories that are just kind of regurgitated. I mean, it's a, maybe that's his thing. Like I said, I don't follow his stuff because I'm getting nothing out of it. But why would people want to follow or regurgitated stuff to begin with? Why don't you want to get your own insight and just get your own knowledge about it? You know, like ever, there's not, not going to be a single book that's been written where you're going to be enlightened because otherwise you wouldn't be here anymore. You would be out of this matrix, right? You would be out of this overlay system, yep. the soul trap system, which supposedly doesn't exist according to him because it's too fear-based. Maybe he, I mean, it's interesting. He never talks about the five D ascension trap. He only wants people to make it to twenty forty, and that's it. And then AI is going to take over. They come in, and they would they would bring them in. This is how they operated. People didn't go in there and get their answers immediately. They had to camp out. There. Yeah, but also remember the times when we didn't have running water. Weren't those awesome times? <laughs> let's just go back to that. Is kind of what it reminds me of, right? Let's just. Let's just regress in our progress. Stories in the ancient world of people can't. You don't need a toilet. You just go shit on the ground, honestly. That's basically what he's saying. Being out for months for their answers. And they did because different kings would send envoys out and they, and they already know you better not come back to the kingdom without an answer, whether it's good or bad. Yeah, you got to stay there until the oracle's ready to answer. And many times, because of weather, because of invasions or whatever, news was delayed. So these couriers had these had this information, and maybe five or six days later, he's asked, um, "How are people following this and not falling asleep and not seeing that he's basically not talking about anything?" Come on in. And he comes in, and he. It's basically just storytelling. He actually beheld really wild stuff. It's all staged for him to for him to see that. All I see is the AR and then AIX. Maybe there's a code in that RAX. Wonder if that's like a form of another deception somehow. I know it's supposed to be archaics.com, but the microphone's really in the way. He's convinced it's a holy sanctuary. He's convinced he needs to be quiet. Our uh, row at the, at the <laughs> portal. He has like some sort of AI name that he has in a different reality somehow in the future. Look, anything you see. Because he, he never made it out of the soul trap because he doesn't believe in it. Here you can't tell anybody when you leave. He says. So people like him are obviously going to be recycled over and over again because they don't have an awareness of what's really going on. This, 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 is, all, this is all between you just wanting to. Yeah, I got to fast forward this. Let's just fast forward it. I can't. It just is just. Uh, you and yours retain an intellectual capacity to understand the world and, and the workings of the world. It's very easy to set up such an operation and then convince people that something supernatural is happening when it's not at all. So. Ah, uh, so I'm seeing archaics.com overthrowing AIX. Mind blowing. Yeah. Oh, let's see if there was any, any other notes. There might have been something in here. These are chronological notes. So, yeah, there is. I, don't you hate it when people snort or cough in a microphone? I just, ugh. We'll go into a... Uh, it's just disgusting. I forgot about this. I did forget about this. It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of, you know, he's nervous because he doesn't know what he's talking about. So he has to, like, shuffle around, snort around. So there was a patriarch, there was a patriarch. I'm surprised he's not using his hands. Like, what do I do with my hands? Historical takeover of the oracles. I totally forgot about this. See, the first reset I told you guys about. Wait, we're still, uh, we're still like we're ten minutes more into that story. This is like a nightmare listening to him. Phoenix, sixteen eighty-seven BC, created a twenty-five-year dark age. To, well, it created a twenty-five-year darkness, and the world started waking up. Then there was a very highly local one with Nassos, the destruction of, of Minoan Linear B, the Minoan Nassos uh, civilization in the rise of Mycenae. Then we have, after that, 11... So he's basically just bamboozling you with a whole bunch of concepts no one really cares about, but he's really not giving you anything of substance. 35 BC, this starts the great Mediterranean. Yeah, I'm so ashamed because I actually did interviews with people who were following him. I'm like, oh gosh, this is so embarrassing. I got to get rid of those interviews. Dark age. We <laughs> like, I don't want any of that in my energy field, like nothing. <laughs> almost no historical records at all for a 300 year period with the fall of Trump. Maybe it's like a certain age group that likes him because he's obviously older. So maybe people who are above the age of 50 or 60 are really into him. Is there anyone, okay, raise your hand, comment below 
even if you're not a follower of my channel, you comment below, say your age. Okay, we're going to do a survey. And I bet you're not going to have 20 year olds or 30 year olds. You're not going to have that type of followership. You're going to have people who are older and people who are most likely the same people who follow Project Camelot from Carrie Cassidy or who follow Nino Rodriguez, all this type of people. You're not going to have people who are like my age and, you know, all of that. And so comment below, let's do a survey. Okay. How old are you? And, and why are you watching this guy? Boy, which is the exact same let's bring some dynamic into this old guy's perspective time troy fell to mycenae that egypt was invaded by the sea people's federation and then the sea peoples and then the dorians invaded ancient greek and the achaeans the dorians brought a whole new no one cares about this shit okay you know what you guys uh i've had it with this i already wasted 35 minutes of my life i'm never getting those back and I think you kind of get it. Like if you don't get it after this video, no one can help you. Just follow his stuff. Let him bamboozle you until you don't know any return anymore. For people who really, really want to get out of this soul trap matrix and who really want to know how we even got trapped here to begin with and everything else, I teach that on my own channel. Okay. And if you guys actually want a proper session or take a course, you can do that. My website is playedianhealer.com. Thank you so much for your time. I know it was probably a massive waste of time of everyone. And I know I definitely feel, you know, just looking at the clock here, I definitely feel I wasted my time somehow, but hopefully not. And I appreciate you. If you're new to this channel, subscribe and comment below, share this video far and wide. Let's get the word out there. No controlled op anymore. Only hu only real humans and real shades and real souls. Okay. Until then guys, have a beautiful one and enjoy. Bye.